The Wanderers Squash Club hosted their annual indoor squash event for the second season running, with hopes of reviving the sport, which temporarily lost popularity due to a lack of sponsors. According to Wanderers Squash Club chairperson Andrew Forrest, a lack of funding has however not deterred the club from keeping the game alive. Rather, it has led to assess options such as the appointment of a new committee. The committee that we have now has is, is got a great structure in place. Um, our junior development is doing really well in Namibia and at the coast. And um, then also our senior players just came back from South Africa with a, you know, the, the SACDs, the country districts that they played there, which is an annual event that we are allowed to participate in. And um, one of our stepping stones for our seniors to see at what level they are competing at an international base. Sports analyst Isaac Hamata, who was a panelist on NBC Sports Breakfast, suggested that decentralizing squash could be key to allow the sport code to grow once again. It really go back to basics. Um, go, go back to, to the schools, uh, have um, outreaches uh, wherever uh, there's an interest in, in squash. It's not just that people do not want to play squash. They just don't know where to go to play the squash. And the facilities, unfortunately, squash courts are designed in a very particular way and those you don't find everywhere. Forrest then added that a coach is available to train the senior and junior players of the club. Some players who were at the annual event described the state of local squash as promising and believe more is yet to come. I believe uh, squash is growing slowly, it's baby steps. And uh, this is just because of the sponsorships that are starting to come back uh, slowly but surely. And for us setting up the, the platform for the juniors to actually see what we can achieve, I think it's motivating them to come more often to the squash courts. We're picking up very quickly again. Um, we're getting back into action. I mean, we're having a closed tournament for members only and we've got over 60 entries, which is fantastic. You're going to struggle to get rid of, of squash, um, but with that it will definitely give a boost for the, for the sport. The Wanderers Squash Club's next mission will be to start participating internationally.